Hello. Hello, you music lovers from around the world. Welcome to Full Record Jacket and welcome to the 1990s. Yeah, that's why we're dressed like this, because it's time for the final, oh. finally, of One Hit Wonders. I normally dress like this for, 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 for Phil. It's Friday. Oh. It's, <laughs> this is Friday get-up gear, isn't it? I forgot we don't normally record on Look. a Friday, so yeah. I've even bought one of these. Others oh. are available. Yes. Yes, that's... 90s. Mad fur it. Mm. So, thanks to our amazing uh, debating skills, we've managed to decide of the 128 songs that we had on the short list or the long list, whatever you want to call that. Uh, we narrowed it, wasn't it down. 128. Through, it was 128. Was it 64? It was 64. Oh, you know. It's because the 90s were so mad, son, that you forgot how many was on there. It was 64, but um, yeah, was we narrowed it down through all those rounds, through the semi-finals, and we finally came to these last two songs. So we've got You Only Get What You Give by the New Radicals from 1999, and then from Underworld, Born Slippy, which was that 95 or 96? I think of it as 96, no. but am I wrong about that? Because... I think was it was originally the, 95. I it think, was 95, but, wasn't it? Because it was in Train Spotting, the movie. So was. that was, I think, 95. So anyway, those are the tracks. One American, one British. How are we even going to decide this, Ben? Which is going to win? I don't know. I don't know. If you're wondering why I'm coming to lean in, it's because I can't see it. I haven't got my glasses on. <laughs> anyway, if I, right, maybe we, we'll wear we them, can see you. Maybe we'll wear them like that. Now... Now we're see. talking. Okay. Now I can That's see. More like it. That's better. That's better. Now I can see. I mean, I don't know if it if it counts for anything, but to my left here, I have a youth, a youth who wasn't even born in the nineties, a youth who doesn't know anything about the nineties. I'm going to ask him what he thinks of the nineties. Come, come with youth. Come with. Hello. Hello. Say hello. Hello. Youth. What do you think about the 90s? Um, two things. Old people and Oasis. <laughs> Old people and Oasis. Thank you. Is that it? Yeah. Huh. Maybe Bucket Hat. What do you mean by old people? You lot. Us lot. Yeah. And that is the voice of the youth on the 90s. It's just old people, you lot, and Oasis, which I suppose is about right, to be fair. Yeah. Well, I saw a picture uh, earlier of uh, Blur, who just released, of course, a brand new album. And, uh, well, they're not Oasis, so I guess they're old people. They're certainly they not are. older than they did anyway. Yeah, for sure. What is it? Graham Rountree, the drummer? Uh, Dave Rountree. Dave, Graham, Co he, Graham Cox. He looks, he looks old, don't he? He, he, does, he does look the oldest of the four. Yeah, I have to say. I mean, to be the drummer in Blur, to get the apps... It's like, I suppose being the drummer in Blur, I mean, being Dave what, Roundtree, it's a bit like being the other blokes in Wet, Wet, Wet to Marty Pello. You can go into any nightclub you want, but if, as soon as you get home, the drummer in Blur, everybody's going, I don't know who you are, mate. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> don't know. So you're in Wet, Wet, Wet. Y yeah. Who are you? Uh, I'm not Marty Pello. That's, that's, that's the level it's at. So we're distracting ourselves now from the, the cause at hand, which is, how do we decide it? I might have to take these sunglasses off. Um, I don't know how we're going to decide this, Phil. I mean, this is going to be the grand... Now I just look like I'm going fishing. Oh, no. I've you gone do. from being 90s cool to a fishing fool. Not saying that fishing is for fools, but I've got my 90s drink full of 90s magic. What's the best before date on that? Um, 16th of April, 1997. And it tastes like it too. Best before be here now. Best so... before be here now. <laughs> yeah, very, very true. Very, very true. Um, I, well, we've got down to these last two, the New Radicals and Born Slippy. And I have tried to base my... <sighs> feelings on how they make me feel. And that's what I've tried to do it on. And 
the way I look at this filster is one, neither of them are vanilla ice and ice ice baby. And um, secondly, my only separating difference between these two songs to which, because obviously they're different genres, different types of music, but they're still music is one makes me feel happy. It doesn't matter when I put it on, always makes me feel happy. And I feel like I could take on the world. The other one makes me yearn for a time that we're never going to be able to get back to. We're never going to get back to to this and drinking what can they be described as brook water on a Sunday afternoon. And that's kind of where I'm at with it. And the new Radicals, when I put that on, it makes me feel happy. It does something okay. to me inside. But so... Born Slippy makes me just go, I can never get back there again. Okay, so it does make, in a way though, you're 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 coming up with a personal preference there, but you're saying that Born Slippy makes you think of the nineties. It makes you yearn for the nineties. Well, uh, whereas so, so, the other one is more timeless because you still you're still enjoying it, it, is, it, and it is more timeless. But it does also make me think of the nineties because it reminds me of that time when I got made redundant and and it just sort of. You know, because as we're discussing on another show, um, towards the end of the 90s, all those sort of big bands like Blur with 13 and Oasis with Standing on the Shoulders of Giants, Pulp with This Is Hardcore, were all quite sombre. Whereas you only get what you give. It's like, yes, it's still great. It's still great to be alive. No, and then Bone Slippy does... does get me in there as well so this is really really hard this is the hardest choice we've had to make so you know well since one where we had between Lou Baker and a bag of dustbin rolls so I don't know how we were going to decide this I mean on an objective level I have to say you know you got this electronic dance track that was very much the zeitgeist in 1995-96 you heard it everywhere it reminds me of the 90s yeah. um the new radicals one yes yeah, good power pop song um i don't have as much of a personal attachment to it as you do but it's it's good but um but for me in a way that slightly loses points because it came at the tail end of the 90s and it yeah, wasn't part yeah. of the middle of the 90s and that's hard to get away from that Oh yeah. So uh, no lager in my cup, by the way. Might have just got water in mine. There's no lager in this because it's no, garlic. It's garlic. That's true. Yeah. Um, so I mean, it's it's a difficult one because I feel it's a, a tough one. If if I had been asked, uh, given those two and choose which is the best one hit wonder of the nineties, I'd probably have gone for Underworld just because I think, oh well, that's very much the nineties for me. Do you know what? Um, I'm gone with that. siding that way. I would have. Towards... I would have just. I would have said, "Yeah, that's it." Even though you know, electronic dance is not my favourite genre. It's no. not something I, I listen to massively, but I do dig. You know, some of that and the Chemical Brothers stuff. And, and, and... have you got a tracksuit on? I have. Yeah, I've got my. Uh, I've got my tracksuit. Oh, you've it's, gone it's well nineties. It's the most nineties so, thing. Like, it's not actually from the nineties, but it looks like it could be from the nineties. Is it? So. Are we basing this on? Does it remind us of the nineties, or is it the best song from that period? That well, we never necessarily... actually. We didn't define it, did we? We didn't define the criteria upon which we would judge it. We just had to agree which was the best or which was going through. But I, I felt that because we were calling it the best one-hit wonder of the nineties, the decade thing is yeah, I think kind of important. I think it's got to be all encapsulating, hasn't it? If we were deciding the best one-hit wonder of all time, then the decade has no relevance. It's it's more like which is the best song, which is the best piece yeah. of music or whatever um it's hard it's isn't a it? tough one i mean i haven't heard maybe i listen to the wrong radio stations but i haven't i don't listen to a massive amount of radio these days i must admit um i haven't heard the underworld track anywhere apart from us listening to it for quite a long time can't think when i last heard it come on anywhere 
Um, I remember hearing it all the time when it was out. The New Radicals one, I think I have heard that here and there over the years more. It's more of a radio hit song yeah. anyway, yeah. isn't it? So yeah. it, that's that's you know more likely. Don't so, give up. Got so I don't know. Should we throw it open to our followers, Ben? Should we just should we democratize this? Should we ask we people could, to comment? We could do, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll decide between us which is the better song and which one sums up the nineties. And then we'll throw it open to the public. So the better song is New Radicals, you only get what you give. And the one that sums up the nineties is Born Slippy by Underworld. So we cut this final has become a bit of a farce, Phil. We've 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 come into it. I had a clear, clear direction of how I was going to vote. I've even got this up here. Maybe you've been brainwashed too, as a sort of slight nod to the one. And now I don't know. We've gone through sixty-four songs. A lot of them were absolutely awful. There was some absolute dross in it. And now we've got it down to these two. Our big fanfare is literally, it's nothing more than one of those things you get from Poundland or whatever, those little battery-operated fans. It's, we've come up a stinker, Phil. I've even guzzled half a can of this. Well, you see, the ones that I bought at the time didn't make it through to the final, so I don't have any personal or massive amount of personal um, nostalgia invested in, in these two. So I don't have that to sway me. And I say, if I'm if I'm trying to be objective, it's very difficult because they are different. It's very difficult to say yeah, which yeah. is the best. If there was another guitar, power pop, you know, catchy song going up against the New Radicals, then I could make a decision as to which was the best one. What, two but, princes? <laughs> well, you know, could have been that. Could have been There She Goes by the Lars, you see. Imagine that. That would have oh, been yeah. a, see, an interesting see, that, one. It wouldn't have got made it any easier. And I think what makes this more difficult is the fact they are two separate genres. Yeah. Which stir two separate emo emotions. Um, so I am... Um, I am more than welcome to call the winner of this One Hit Wonders of the 90s, um, the new born um, Slippy Underworld Radicals. There we go. The Don't new Under Radicals. It, I, I can't decide between the two, Phil. So we're going to have to... We're going to have to flip a coin. I'm really hot. I wonder everybody I'm was quite thin. warm in this myself. Yeah, yeah. Everybody said, "Oh, in the nineties, everybody was on narcotics," which is why everybody was probably thin. It's not. It's because they're wearing coats like this in the blinking summer. It's bloody boiling. How does Liam Gallagher wear this on stage? I don't know how he wears those things on stage. I don't know how. I mean, okay, he doesn't I move am... around. It's not like he's moving around like Mick Jagger, but it's still. It must still no, no. Hard. I mean, you can probably see my glossy forehead from perspiration. Um, I think the one hit wonder of the nineties is too hard to call, Phil. I think it's a draw. It, it is pretty much. I think we do need you, our dear viewers, to comment and tell us which of these two tracks you think it should be, or indeed, perhaps you might even think we got this completely wrong, and there is another track that should be. The one-hit wonder of the 90s. We're, we're about to be attacked by my stupid cat. Stupid cat. Maybe we should give the cat the vote. Well, that's one, to, one, one way to do it. They used to do it with that but... octopus in the World Cup, didn't they? No, I I am I am stuck on, on this one, Phil. I am genuinely stuck. I'll even... I'll put a Twitter poll out as well, and we'll leave it open to people to decide... Okay, we'll see how many votes we get. Is it a case of first to get to 10, or is it a case of we leave it open for so long and then decide who's got the most, or what? We'll leave it open for a week, a seven week. days, a whole like Craig seven David. Days. Yeah. So we're going we're gonna to go Craig David, and we're going to leave it open for seven days, 
because we are absolutely useless at making a decision. So we're going to pass the book to other people. That is where to put your comments down. Can you see that down there, Ben? That box. That's my the, groin, the, Phil. The, the, the comment box. You know, with the oh, yeah, just down there. Yes, that one. I yeah. can subscribe. That's it. That's the one. So Still let us know. Groin. Is it Underworld? Is it New Radicals? Is it something else? Please cast your votes. And thanks for watching. This is Full Record Jacket. We'll be back with another Music Geek Spectacular very soon. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Bye.